Calling to Lose Area Lift Bridge, call Archer Gertha. Mile and a half out. Archer Gertha, Area Bridge, Rise Cam, clear traffic now. Be on your way here shortly. Thanks for the call. The Lose Area Bridge, the Lose Area Bridge, the Atlantic here on. Area Bridge, Captain Bridge, Channel 10. Yeah, good day, sir. Uh, just to let you know, uh, we're anchored here uh, in Alpha Superior Piers, 2.2 nautical miles uh, north of the Piers. All right, Cap. We'll go ahead and show you on the board. He's anchored outside the Superior Piers. Thanks for the call. Roger, sir. You have a good day. You too, sir. Good morning, visitors. Right now, coming through the Duluth Ship Canal, we have the Paul R. Tregursa. The Paul Archigurtha was built as the William J. Delancey in 1981 by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. He measures 1,013 feet and 6 inches in length, 105 feet in width, and 56 feet in depth. He is powered by two 8,040 horsepower, 6-cylinder Mack diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 60 miles per hour. She's also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower bow thruster to ease her maneuverability in port. The Paul Archer Gertha has 36 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch cover measures 65 by 11 feet and weighs 6 tons each. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 71,300 tons. Above her deck is a 260-foot self-promoting boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Paul Archer is currently owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Middleburg Heights, Ohio. The Tregursa is named in honor of the Vice Chairman of Interlake Steamship Company. The Tregursa is known as the Queen of the Lakes for being the longest vessel on the Great Lakes. She was built in two sections, which were joined at American Shipbuilding's Lorraine Yard, ending the shipyard's long history of Great Lakes shipbuilding. The Tregursa was built for $60 million. <laughs> Thank you. 